This is Silart from BlueFX and let me show you how you can use the 120 character animation pack from BlueFX. Now, you can download this package completely for free at bluefx.net and I will show you how to edit this inside Premiere Pro. So the first thing that you're gonna see when you download it, you're gonna have a zip file, you extract that zip file, you're gonna find there a folder called all characters. Open that one up and here you're gonna find all the characters. So I already opened up Premiere Pro and have imported a couple of the characters. Let's, let me show you. So you're gonna end up with something like this. You'll be able to, of course, change the size and all that of these characters. The reason that we used a green screen video and in the back and did not use regular transparency is because of, of the huge file size. We have, these are 4K videos, and if we would have added them with transparency, the file size of 120 animations would be huge. So to make your life and your downloading process easier, we made it with this green screen thing. And all you gotta do to remove this green screen is, so let's, let, let me stay, step, uh, take a step back. So first of all, you just, take these and just add them to Premiere Pro. The process is the same for any video editing app. And the next step is you wanna obviously remove this green from the background. And this is a perfect green, so it's gonna be perfectly easy to remove it. So in the effects panel early enough in Premiere Pro, click on effects and type in key. And there you're gonna find an effect called ultra key. And we're gonna just drop the ultra key over this animation. And there you got key color. Click the color picker and then just click on the green. Boom. You see, that's it. And now you have a transparent background because this is a transparent background. And the next step is just to add a new layer. Let's add a rectangle like this. Let's make it bigger. Now, obviously you can add different colors and all that, but this is just a quick demo. So I'm going to place my animation above the rectangle. And as you can see, we have a gray sky with white clouds. Now, of course, you can change the colors of this. You just select the graphic and let's see you. And where are the, yeah, here's the shape and change the fill effect and you can play with this color let's say kind of a bluish color would look good for a sky and that's it let's add another one i'm gonna add this one i'm gonna quickly remove with the ultra key the green and you can also scale the animation down. So you scale it down a little bit and then you position it like this to the side. Now the next step is to add a couple of graphics. All you got to do is click here, go to graphics, graphics, new layer, text. And let's choose a better looking font because this is not, not right. Let's double click on the text, select the text. When you click on graphics, this thing here at the top, this tab, then you'll be able to edit easily the text. So click on edit. If it's on the browse, click on edit. Let's select again the text. Make sure that your text is selected. And here, here you can just use a different font. I'm going to use Roboto. Robo, Roboto. Roboto. Roboto robotic robot black let's make it like this let's make the font bigger i'm gonna switch mm, the tool i hit i just uh, hit the selection tool like this and just position the text layer in a different spot now obviously you can add animations to the text and so on but this is the big idea you can easily add these animations you can use these the same process in any video editing app and when you're ready all you got to do is export this this video by going to file export media 
if you're exporting for YouTube or other types of online video hosting websites, Facebook and all that, all you got to do is select H.264. This is a really good compression, for small file size, high quality, and just queue it and just export it like this. And uh, as you can see, it already shows me the file size that this video will have. And remember, this is a 4K video and it's giving me only 8 megabytes. Of course, it's a short video, but still the quality is good and the file size is small. H264 is my recommendation. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share the video that you make with it. I would love to see whatever you create. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye.